In this video, I'm going to go over how to speed up your RAM previews in After Effects using the Skip Frames feature. Let's dive right in. Okay, so here I am in After Effects and I've got this composition. It's about 30 seconds. It's not too crazy. Uh, just some photos and video. Uh, maybe six or seven scenes made up of pre comps. And, um, you know, if I control click on the time here, I can see my time code in frames. The idea is that your RAM preview, uh, depending on how much RAM you have in your machine and how powerful it is, has a capability to play a certain amount of frames back. You could, let's say, for ease, it's 100 frames. So if you were to play 100 frames at full resolution, you could get to here. But let's say you wanted to play the whole timeline. Now you could try lowering um, your resolution down to like quarter res, and that might get you further, but still might not get you all the way to uh, the end here, which is 900 frames. 30 seconds, 30 frames a second, it's 900 frames. But in the preview, there is this feature called skip frame. So um, you go down here, skip frame, it's right there. Pull down that number. And now, if you were to hit zero, you can see it's loading every fifth frame. So if you have 100 frames, you can now play up to 500 at full resolution before. Whereas before, you could only get to frame 100. So, while you have to look at this maybe in more of a steppy fashion, it's a really good way to see your overall timing. Uh, you can still listen to audio with this, so uh, you can use it for timing to audio if it helps there. Uh, and the other cool thing is that now in After Effects, I think, what, like CC and up maybe, maybe CC 15, uh, they have other shortcuts besides the zero on the number pad which used to be the only way to RAM preview unless uh, so you click the play button up here. So the idea is that now you could set something to also spacebar. So what I do often is I have uh, once my zero set to quarter resolution in five frames and then maybe my other one is set to zero and full. So I can choose to have a short high quality preview or I can choose to have a longer, lower quality preview. Um, to be all, totally honest, I actually usually leave this on auto and just control it from here if I find it a little bit easier. So that is definitely the easiest and quickest way to speed up your RAM previews inside of After Effects. Hopefully this was a helpful tip. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching.